The fall semester at BU Law is going to feel very different. In addition to changes we're making for academic instruction, the Law Tower itself is going to look different too. We will be relying on members of our community to follow these guidelines in order to ensure the safety of all. Signage throughout the building will provide visual cues about the university's COVID-19 guidelines and behavioral expectations for our community. When you first enter the Law Tower, a large sign will encourage anyone entering the building to follow protocols for being in our space. Proper face coverings will be required in the Law Complex. And avoidance of close contact will be required. These information signs will be posted throughout the building in shared areas. In shared spaces, such as the locker areas, classrooms, and library study rooms, maximum occupancy signs will be posted. In small shared spaces, the maximum occupancy will be one person at a time. Stickers on the ground will direct community members where they should stand if they are in a line or gathering together, and some seats may be prohibited from use in order to distance students from one another in classrooms or other seating areas. Restrooms will also have maximum occupancy signs, as well as reminders for our community to wash their hands frequently. Elevators in the Law Tower and in the Redstone Building will have maximum occupancies of two people per elevator, there will be hand sanitizing dispensers in every elevator bay. Certain spaces and corridors will be designated as one-way or two-way. If a corridor is designated as a two-way traffic area, please keep to the right. In the Law Tower, the north-facing stairs in the tower will be a down-only stairwell. This is the set of stairs closest to the Charles River. The south-facing stairs in the tower will be an up-only stairwell. Remember, it's up to us as a community to follow public health guidelines on and off campus. We must work together to protect the health and well-being of our students, faculty, and staff.